Hello and welcome everyone. We are back with another Let's Test video. Within the Steam Next Fest, I came across this little gem of a game. It is called Tormentia and it's by a group called Proxel Studios. I have not heard about the game before, neither have I heard about the studio before. But when I watched the um, Steam trailer, the video trailer, I got immediate reminders of um, the awesome craziness and um, yeah, just brilliancy of games like Inscription. If that, by the way, is a game that you haven't heard of and you haven't tried, I highly recommend that you have a look at my playlist because I did a full playthrough of that game as well. But uh, let's check quickly the options. Uh, this looks all good. I hope this is fine and you can hear me well enough. I am playing this with mouse and keyboard and um, yeah, without further ado, let's have a look and see what this game is about. Another case of a missing child in the town of St. Pacing system sounds already. Tormentia. Can we do anything? Um, enter. Okay. Alright. Oh wow, this is as retro as it gets. So if you are a fan of those really old school retro games like the throttle all the way down, then this obviously is for you. Reminds me a little bit of my old Atari 2600. Uh, what are we here? Uh, this is a lock gate and we're this little cube. I can move it with the arrow keys. I'm pressing other keys, but nothing is happening. But it looks like there's a way out here. Okay, this looks like an Okay, nice. I'm guessing those are spikes. Oh, uh, we can go to the right. Oh, oh I probably need to be careful here. Okay, so I can't get to the key. Oh, all right, little creatures. I'm guessing we need to avoid them. Oh, another key. Um, oh, excellent. Oh, we got a key. Uh, okay, what do we need to do? What's there? Okay, maybe can we already go into the castle with this one? What do I need to do? Enter? Oh, no, enter puts the key down. Oh, oh okay. Is this? Oh, that's a sword. Nice. Okay, so we can put stuff down with the enter key. Ah, I see. And then depending on how we run it, it I see. That's how we just pick it up. The hands again. Oh, and we can damage them. Okay, when he hits this, this take one, two, three. Okay, three hits, and we are done with them. Oh, oh, do I need to put this sword down? Oh, and that is precisely it. Excellent. Okay, what can we do now? Um. Should we attack the green men, maybe? Just see. Oh, no, we can't. Two, three. Okay. We need to get those ones. Oh, was there another keyhole? Wait, did I miss anything? Let's attack them. One. Two. Three. Okay. Maybe from the left. Okay. The sounds are just amazing. <laughs> okay, no, there's nothing else here. Oh, and they do spawn back again. All right. Okay. 
Okay, everything is taking three hits. Okay, so we can get to this key, but we don't. Oh wait, we could go to the left here as well. But there was a weird figure there. Oh, he's coming closer. Oh, and there's a lock at the top, I see. But it also goes to the left. I have the slight suspicion that he is not as easy as the other figures, so let's try and go to the left first. Ooh. Okay, so he definitely comes closer to you. Oh. Looks like it's holding something in his hand. Where is my ring? Oh, I love this. Where is my ring? I don't know. I don't have your ring. Okay. So I guess we need that key and get it into the store there. Ooh. Okay. Um, The key. Yeah. Let's go to the right then. Kill the hands. Oh, careful. Oh, okay, so you can only have one thing. Ooh, that was very close. Let's put it here, because the door is at the very top. Oh, God, we need to be quick. And quick is not what I do well. Told you. Ooh. Oh, no, I need to go out. Jeez. We made it. Oh no. <gasps> oh no, is that a boss fight? That's a boss fight. We need our sword back again. There it is. Okay, which direction? Can we top? Oof. Okay. Man, this got difficult quick. He shoots three fireballs onto three. Okay. Okay. Oh, he's in a not so good position right now. Okay, the moons. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Right. Oh, sh Hit him again. Oh, wow. Oh, no. I think I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna die. I couldn't move anymore. Oh, what's happening? Them. There's someone next to the door. Can, I don't know if you will be able to see it, but there's this very faint line here. Oh my god, is this creepy. Okay, zoom in, shift. Bodacious Zipperman. Mystery seats. Can we move? No, so we can only look around. Can we click stuff? Oh, we can. Uh, right mouse button, use. Left mouse button, drop. No batteries. Okay, let's... Oh, I can only put it back. What's this? Oh. It's like a toy. Oh, it's one of those for like really small children where it makes the sounds of the animals. Okay, okay, what's this? Bell transcendence. Sorry, what? 
Okay, drop left mouse button, use. Oh, I can shift the arrows and then accept space. Blue. Something in the closet. Something in the closet. What? Repeat. Spell transcendence. Oh, so I need to spell the word. So what did it say? Sorry, I need to hear it again. Spell transcendence. Transcendence. Keep on. A N S C E N V E N. Transcendence. C E. Damn, that's difficult to enter. Correct. Spell demon. Did it say? Did it ask me to spell demon? E E M O N. Correct. Correct. Spell time. I didn't catch that at all. Uh, there's this weird sound. Wait, let me drop this for now. Stickers. Ah, guys, this looks like my old Atari 2600. I'm not kidding, the first console I ever had, Limbo 2800. That is amazing, and even the cartridge. <laughs> okay, what can we do? Use right mouse button. Holy shit, I am, I am in love with this game. If you remember this, if you ever had a console or any kind of computer that used cartridges, you know exactly the pain that this child at the moment is going through. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my god, what a nod to the oldies, to the retro stuff. Okay, now the sound is gone. Oh my, there's so much stuff to look at here. But we know that there's this creepy shadow there next to the door. <laughs> Already the atmosphere is great. But um, let's have a look. So what was this? Voxel Studios, Tormentia, Game Program Instructions. <gasps> the proper booklet. Okay, use left and left and right keys. Safety precautions. Use a joystick controller with this Croxel Studios game program. Be sure the controller is firmly plugged into the left controller jack at the rear of your Limbo 2800 video computer system TM. Hold the controller with the cable outlet toward the television screen. Yep. There were times when this had to be explained. <laughs> Always turn the console power switch off when inserting or removing across the studio's game program. This will protect the electronic components and extend the lifespan of your Limbo 2800 video computer system TM. For more enjoyment of the Tormentia game program, please read all instructions carefully before starting to play. Keep this instruction manual handy for quick reference. Warning, don't play for many consecutive hours or you might start experiencing visions, night terrors and other distortions of reality. Okay. But yeah, how to play. An evil wizard has imprisoned magical creatures of the kingdom inside a mysterious dungeon. You, adventurer, are the bridge between the dungeon and their freedom. Collect the four relics and save the kingdom. To save them, you'll have to find the four hidden relics and open the door to the final labyrinth, where the source of all evil lies. There are several areas in the dungeon, each with its own paths and challenges to overcome and test your skills. Use the controller WASD or the arrow keys. Okay, we figured that one already. You can move in any of the directions using joystick the direction. Move from one room to an adjacent room. Move beyond the screen area. The adjacent room will then be displayed on your screen. To grab an item, all you have to do is touch it. Drop the item, press the orange controller button. Oh, something just fell out. Uh, good magic. During your missions to find the treasures, you will encounter many hazards, but you also find good magic on your side. Keys that allow you to open locked doors. A sword that you can use to hurt evil creatures. Seeds that turn into plants by placing them into a plant hole to reach other areas. This leads. This reads like the instruction to a Legend of Zelda game. That's amazing. A shovel, a flute, bombs, a torch to illuminate dark areas, a magnet to attract items that are out of reach, a small dot that reduces your size and allows you to move through narrow gaps, a bridge that allows you. Oh my God! I want this game. <laughs> In addition to these items, you will find other elements that will also help you during your adventure. 
buttons to deactivate barriers, uh, levers to deactivate barriers, mirrors that reveal creatures and other invisible elements, alright, magic gadgets that allow you to jump between dimensions, oh my god, clock-like structures that seem to heal your wounds and magically register your progress when you approach them, alright, so clocks are our safe points. Bad magic. The evil wizard has prepared different challenges to prevent you from escaping from the dungeon. Evil creatures of all kinds that attack you at first sight. Okay, yeah, the green ones we had already. Although they didn't attack us, they were just moving around. Barriers, yeah, we had some of those. Spikes. And then there's ivies that cannot be crossed. I don't know if you can see it in the top right. It's very really light grey. And then oil. Oil that burns when it comes in contact with the torch. Okay. So you can combine... This is so cool. Magic can be good or bad, depending on the situation. Boxes can sometimes block your way, but you can push them in one direction. Magnetic blocks that can only be moved with the magnet. Rivers can block your path and drag items with the current. The team behind Tormentor. Oh, I wonder if that's the real dev team. Paul Estroffel Moore, creative director. Art is eternal. Use Walton programmer. Sometimes the code seems to come alive. That's the bit, kind of, you know, the inscription element. Then we have Al Bernstein, musician. Listen to the hidden tune. Listen to the hidden tune. Okay, so we probably need to pay attention to the music in the game. Then we have Charles Raymond, designer. Mazes are like life. You have to find your own way. Deep. And Alex Baker, artist. Everything is up for reinterpretation. Even yourself. This is absolutely amazing. I am in love with this. And then there's some notes here. Oh, I wonder if we need this later. The first one seems like a number code. It's like one, what is that, a nine and a four, or a one, six and four in reverse. And then five, three, two. Oh, I wonder whether we would need a mirror for that one. Anyway, and then there's a, I guess, a... Um, a switch riddle? The frog hides something. Forest cave. Stop laying. Oh, so there's a warning in the booklet already. How do I get the Afro hair guy to move? Afro hair guy? I can't move. That's it. Ultimate Express Video, cinema and video game rental service. Okay, so we just borrowed this game from a rental place then. Alright, let's drop this. Uh... Does oh, where do we go? okay. So the things that are used are going into a box now. Oh, darts. Okay, what else did we have? What was there? Was there something about a frog? Wait, let me have a look at the notes. The frog hides something. Oh nope, that was the wrong key. Just drop it. There is a frog on here. Okay. Okay. Tracked. Oh, this one needs a key. Oh. This is new. Grab. Ultimate Express Video Store 0978762. I agree to return the above videotapes or video games prior to the due date, otherwise additional charges may be due. Yeah, we had one of those places in the town where I grew up as well. Total tax. $6.66. Nice. Yeah, but there's no... Oh, due date. 25th of February 1982. What a year. Uh, read. We can... At the bottom right, it says read E. Oh, so it just gives us a slightly bigger... Okay, so just in case you have troubles reading this. That's that's nice. That's a nice feature. Drop. Oh, also goes in the box. Okay. Stickers. What do we have here, then? Beginning. Oh, so this is like a collectible. Probably from the game. Man. Oh, this is staying here. Okay. Uh, what do we have here? Relics, Easter eggs, map. This is drawing a map of, of the dungeon. 
Oh my goodness, this is how we used to play games like this. Absolutely incredible. Oh, I keep pressing escape to go out. Okay, I need to get used to the fact that I drop it. Okay, what's this then? Pencils I can't use. I could turn this on again. Let me have a look around. What is this here? Oh, oh the... Who am I, right? Is there anything happening if I click all of them? No, okay. What's this? Just some letters. Pretty random, actually. What do we have here? Uh, I guess this is a toy. Some board games. A wood trip. Mystery seats. Can't make this one out. Super bad. Polaroid camera. Oh, and something is... Hey, something there is glistening. Oh, maybe that's a reflection from the TV. Can we turn it off? No, we can't. Old tape player, but we don't have a tape. Okay. Oh. Oh, what's this? Macromedia. Exclusive. Hyper break in best tips and tricks. Increase the performance of your home console. 50 limbo games. Oh, I want to have a read. Oh, again, same thing. I wonder if those numbers are important. 50 Limbo games, 30 Limbo gold marks. Maybe that'll come in handy later. Uh, can we use... Oh, something fell out again. Hyper Break-In from the creators of Break-In. Take control of a turbocharged spaceship as you fight the evil forces of the Empire and save the galaxy. Hyper the action, hyper the fun, hyper the challenge. Available on Limbo 2800 system. <laughs> oh man, sports collection, space rally. Power up your experience. Limbo phone, tips and tricks line. Can I read this as well? I can. Next. Tips and tricks phone. Oh, but there's no number. Page two, the number one adventure experience. Tormentia, collect the four mystical relics and face the evil wizard. Oh, it's basically the same what we had from the booklet. Ah, oh, Enchanted Land. Your journey won't be easy since the wizard prepared a series of puzzles and encounters with his wretched minions. Luckily, the kingdom is filled with fantastic trinkets that will help you in your quest. An epic adventure brought to you by Limbo2800 and Croxel Studios. Nice. With the screenshots and... Oh man, so cool. Uh, okay, use... Oh, that's it. can only read those few pages. Okay, we can put it back. Is there anything else? Oh. This one seems to be kind of stuck. But something fell down again. Oh, there we go. What's this? Experts on video games. Potential dangers to, your, to our youth by Larry Oldman. From toys to instruments of control, the debate on the influence of video games on our children is more heated than ever. The safety authority Thomas Jackson believes home consoles have something to do with the recent disappearances of children across the country. Oh yeah, there was a news flash at the very beginning of the game with like missing kids. From a behavioral standpoint, the device is a bad influence on our children, and thus our society. The promise of most products is to escape, to leave the real world to enter a new imaginary one. In the process, the child loses their ability to discern between the two. <laughs> of course. The expert adds, games leave the mind in a suggestive magic circle where there's no formal difference between play and ritual as historian Joan Hisunga puts it. This phenomenon is usually used as an occult tool that opens up young people <laughs> to influence on them on topics such as murder, <laughs> sadism, or the... what is that? Oh. Uh, at the bottom, people to influence on them on topics such as murder, sadism, or demonology. <laughs> Thomas says. <laughs> I mean, I know those conversations were had in the past, in the here and now. Anyway, always the games to play. Okay. Closet, I can't do anything. What is that? A pumpkin ghost? The paybackers. Behold the beholder. The mall rats. Space Rally. Oh, for the Limbo. Oh, and there's a dartboard. And it's in the middle of the night. And we have our trusted nightlight. Oh, can I click this one? Nope. Oh. Okay. Can I do anything with this? No. Yeah. 
There's a toy phone. Oh, if you keep the mouse button pressed, it goes through colors. Okay. Hmm. We have nothing yet that would indicate that we need to use it. Can we use the darts? Oh, we can. Uh, use with rice, right mouse button. Rice mouse button. With the right mouse button. Uh, how do I use it? Just click it. Oh. Oh, there's a bar. Wait. Uh, Uh, that didn't work. Oh, but it goes back into the box again. Let's try this again. Oh! That lit the board up in a weird way. Or if you... I guess if you have too much power, it just drops off. Nice. Oh. <laughs> this one's now stuck in the wall. <laughs> Anyhow. Um, what do we want to do? Stickers, we looked at this. This we looked at. I guess that is all for now, isn't it? We missed anything here? No. Turn our console on again. Press control to keep playing Tormentor. Alright. Uh, continue. Enter. Yes. Find the four hidden relics and head north. Oh, where? Oh, we're still here? Oh, I thought we died against the dragon. Okay. This is a switch, as we learned. Oh, save point. Clock. Alright, game is saved. Are you taking notes? Press tap. <laughs> well, it looks like we are. Easter eggs, 0 out of 34. Try pressing tap. Also, with tap you can get into the game and outside. <gasps> Oh, what's that? Yes, I am taking notes. And I've just saved. Oh, those. Hmm. Oh. Can't do anything here, though. Maybe... Oh, another door. Hmm. Oh, wait, it goes out to the screen on the north and to the south. Oh, more doors. Oh, okay, I guess those four doors will lead us to the relics, maybe? Okay, we can go to the right. Just quickly checking. So we can go north. North, east, and south. Um, I don't know. Probably just... Let's just try one. Um... Okay, I guess we have nothing. Can I do anything here? No. Alright. Nothing. Oh. Okay, we can go to the left again. Oh, there's the grey thingy again. Luckily, we're really fast. Okay. Oh, nice. So now we just... Now we don't need to go through there anymore. Is there anything else here? No. Didn't look like it, right? Oh, what's this? Oh, like pedestals. Oh, head north. So I guess... Those maybe are the four relics that we need. Looks like um, like a color palette. I don't know, either like a, a PC mouse or maybe a scarab, like a bug. Mm, I don't know, some kind of chicken and a music note. Right, 
Uh. Oh. Okay, let me... This is just brilliant. Okay, so it draws basically exactly the map on how we're walking. This is so cool. Okay. Um, nice. That makes things a lot easier. And I like the way how they are how they're doing this to green things again. Let's just carefully walk around them. Hands. Okay. We need to check in which direction they're going. No. No. Nice. Okay. <gasps> A frog. Wait, what was it? Tab. Can we... If I drop this... <gasps> yes! I... Wanna have a quick look, didn't it say something? Sorry, I'm so excited it feels like my brain is already completely off. The frog hides something. Okay. Doesn't say anything else though. Forest cave left... Oh, forest left cave right. Forest left cave right. I don't think they have... I don't think the notes are together because they seem... Like, if you look at the writing, the frog hides something is one thing, then forest and cave have been written at a different time. I'm always trying to click escape to put something away, I'm sorry. What was the control? Yes, control brings us back in the game. Okay, um... The frog hides something. Can we get to him? We can... Uh, but we can go to the right... Ooh! Bridge. Are you... A <laughs> if that isn't another, like, not at inscription... Like, doesn't this remind you of the angler? Anyway... Is this a good frog? Let's try it. Oh. He wants to help. Sound design, by the way, is absolutely spectacular. They really captured that, you know, retro sound vibe. He wants to help. There's a key here. Oh, oh, we can just pick it up. Can we go in the house? No. Can I just take it with me? Is he gonna go mad? Well. Oh. Do you see what's happening on the right-hand side of our TV? The flickering? Oh god. I know it might not look like it, but this is creeping me out so much right now. But I'm loving it. it we can, oh, let's just go around again. Yeah, we can go around. It's probably safest. Uh, sorry, where do we go? Over here, so south. Wait, was there anything else? No. We can still go... Oh, wait, there is a dotted line at the bottom left as well. Did I miss something there? First, let's go south. Yeah, we're back at the castle. Bottom left. No. Okay, can we open it? Maybe let's put it up here. Can I... One of the doors? No. No. Why are you taking notes? Okay, so he's just saying the same thing. I can't open these doors. Sorry, where... We went to the... Oh! There's... To the right, there's also a dotted line south and further east. Did I miss something there? There's... It's nothing. Hmm. Or maybe it's just a... Just a style choice. So it looks like the only way safe quickly. It looks like the only way south. Or not. There's something in the water, clearly. Uh, let me put down the key. Can I get it? Give it back. Give a oh! Oh, it's a it's attached to me now. I want to give it back. Can't reach you. Mm. 
pressing the arrow key down. Maybe if I just hit enter? No, it just goes back in the water. Hmm. Oh, look. Got it. Oh, that worked. Oh. <laughs> All right. Can we talk to him? Welcome, traveler. Okay. Let's take our key with us. There's another clock, so let's save. What's this? Nothing happens. Is this a monster or can I talk to him? Say cheese. <laughs> okay. Wait, isn't there? One second. Uh, drop. We have a camera. Can we do anything with it? No, we cannot. Um, no, I thought maybe there's something we can do, but, um, right. sorry, map, so it looks like we can go, oh, did our camera just take a picture? What? What the f- How did this just take a picture of us? Oh my god, this is so creepy. But so good. Where, where did it go now? It said drop. So things in the game affect things in the real world. Is that it, yeah? Jeez. Oh, because I because I stood in the square and tapped out. Maybe that's why. That's what that's what must have triggered it. Hmm. Lucky coincidence, I guess. There's also there the there's something at the bottom of the screen. I don't know if you can see it. It looks like a Y. Anyhow. Oh, there's a door here. Um. Nope. That's not what I was This way. No, doesn't work either. We can go further. Oh, there's a river here. Um, nothing else though. Okay. Oh. It's so quiet here. <laughs> okay. He looks a little bit like, I don't know, Disco Stew. <laughs> oh, wait. There. Oh, it even paints him on the picture. Nice. That's awesome. Um, In the notes. There, at the bottom right. How do I get the afro hair guy to move? Okay. How do I get him to move? Oh, I didn't want to pick this one up. Hmm. Interesting. It's so quiet here. It just says the same thing. Oh. Bell demon. What? Did you just hear this? Didn't this just say spell demon? Spell transcendence. 
P E M O N. Incorrect. Spell transcendence. Wait. Should I try it again? P R A N S C E N D E N C E. Correct. Spell between. Excuse me, one. I did not hear that. Spell between. Between? I think it said between. B. E. T. W. E. E. N. Correct. Okay. Spell children. Children. Anyhow, uh, this doesn't seem to be doing anything. Where's the clue, by the way? I hit this. Guess who are some? Guess who are some children? Okay. Anyhow. The eternal task. That looks very grim. What's this? Oh, the local tavern. I'm tired. Want some pineapple juice? You seem pretty steady. Tired, okay. I'm just checking out if anything else happens if I walk anywhere, but it doesn't seem like it. Oh. Oh, it's like a... I don't know, like a, a meat meat stall of some kind? Just because of the red color and kind of looks like a cow and that looks like some sausages hanging down, I don't know. Um... Bring me the parts. Zero out of five. What parts? Hang on a second, there's something... Can you see this? It's like a bright yellow pixel flickering there. Maybe I need to... Oh! Um... That looks a little bit rude, I'm not gonna lie, but... Is that one of those parts? Oh, it is. One out of five. Okay, so we need to look for yellow pixels, I guess. Bring me the parts. One out of five, okay. Um, I don't see anything else in here. Alright, let's carry on. Oh, doggy. Woof, woof. <laughs> okay. Um... He looks creepy AF. Rusted things belong here. What are those symbols always on the ground? Rusted things belong here. Okay, it looks pretty rusty. I don't really want to put it in the well, but... Oh, it doesn't do anything. I need to drop it. Sounded like a secret sound from The Legend of Zelda. <laughs> or at least similarly. Okay. Oh, we're back here again. We can also go to the right. Oh, hello there. What? Only one half in here. One half in here? The half that feels. Okay. Only one half in here, the half that feels. Oh, we can't go into the house. And I don't think... No, we can't go any further. Okay. Looks like a giant hamster of sorts. Okay, so we're back here again. I wonder what this was. <laughs> the doggy also goes to the right. Oh, another door. Uh, now we don't even have a key anymore. 
Oh, shit. I think I made a boo-boo. Should I have kept the key? This looks important. And slightly frightening. Oh. Oh, wait. We can go further to the sun. Oh. Are those kids playing ball or are those kids throwing a skull? And where's their heads? The game is awesome. Okay. A church? Looks a little bit in disrepair, to be honest. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we can take the cross. Nice red color. I might have an idea. Oh, this is also very red. Oh. Did the dog just bark? You just hear this? Oh my god. Man, this is so amazing. Anyway, maybe? Oh, maybe I'm... No, it doesn't do anything. And here I thought I had a brilliant idea. Maybe with those ones? No, they just say that the game is awesome. Okay, uh, we can also go to the right here. Oh, graveyard. Oh. Oh. That grave there. Do you see the distortion? What just... What? Oh look! We found our first easter egg. It says now, Easter Egg 134. It's amazing, it even shows you the, uh, the door colors. Oh man. The... Attention to detail that they put in is just absolutely incredible. This is so amazing. Oh. That shade is still lurking behind the door. Oh my god. Do you see this? Is that the key that we just threw in? It's the rust. Look at the rust on the key. It's the key that we threw in the well. Oh boy, what is this? Oh, there was something with... There was something with numbers, right? Wait, 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 wait. Um. Oh, but it's... No, wait. It's six numbers, though. It's six numbers. I don't think this is for this riddle, because we need... Sorry, we need something with four. Hmm, did I see anything with four numbers? Anyway, we... There's also a cassette. <gasps> Let's put it in the tape player. Disco music. Let's close this again for the time being. Right, numbers. Code zero three. Now that's five numbers. Oh, there wasn't anything here. Okay, we found our first sticker, which was the cross that we found. Okay, drop it. Okay, plays a little bit of disco music.
I have a wacky idea. Oh, but the music stops again. I think, we, I think we need to find something that we can put on there that he can break. Okay, so things in the game interact with the outside world and vice versa, yeah? <gasps> He's moving! It's because we played the music! Our red key. We found a red key. Okay. Thank you, Discus Steel. Oh, now he doesn't talk anymore, though. Oh. Where the things belong here? Oh, you know what? I want to try one more thing. Um, Tap. Woof, woof. Oh, we're... What? We're petting the dog. I don't quite know what the easter egg is, but what I was thinking is... I should have done this earlier with the frog already. But there's a dog on here. Okay, what a shame. Doesn't do anything. Anyhow. Um, control. Oh. What just happened? I noticed this earlier. There's four colors there. Blue, green... Blue, green, pink, and yellow. Wait, I think I, I think I need to start to write this down. Blue, green, pink, and yellow. Do you remember? There is a... This phone. When you dial it, it gives you a color. It's four. We need four numbers. What if... So I need blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Blue is a seven. And then we need green. One. Two, three, four, five. Light green. Is there another one? Okay, seven, five. Uh, pink. Oh, it's the first one. Pink is one. One, two, three, four. Yellow is four. I just want to check quickly. Six. Oh, there's also a dark green, so it's it could also be a six. Let me... Is this a light green or a dark green? Let's try both. What could possibly go wrong, right? Okay, so... 7514. 7... 5, 1... Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Okay. I will admit that was a little bit out there, but... Uh, okay. I think it was worth a shot. Oh. Oh, the mouse is now in the screen. Let's do this. Yeah, this way it doesn't annoy us. Alright, where, sorry, where do we need to go? The house... Top right. Okay.
Oh, wow. I don't want to go inside. Oh, we're a red dot now. Oh. And saved. Is this supposed to be art? Like pictures? It looks like it. Fairly creepy though. Do anything with them? This does not... Oh, sorry, I just saved again. Okay, I guess we can go to the left. What is this, mirrors? Oh, look, yes, it's mirrors. Okay, but we can't do anything with them. Enter, maybe let me press enter. No, nothing happens. Guess we go further in. <gasps> oh shit, oof. Okay. Oh, there's a weird thing there at the top. Okay, we can't go any higher, I guess. Oh, and our dot is flickering now. So I guess that indicates that we were hit. Uh, so I guess we can only go to the left. Oh. Looks like there's some paint spilled there. Uh, I'm gonna have a look at this in a second. What's this? This is weird AF. Holy shit, if that isn't an inscription moment. This is our room. In the game. Can't do anything. Oh, it's a mirror then as well, yeah? Look, not in, we're not showing in the mirror, but we're showing at the top mirror. I'm scared. What's this pink thing? <gasps> oh, jeez. Holy shit. Tormentia, thanks for playing. Don't forget to wishlist Tormentia on Steam. My mind is officially blown. I am absolutely in love with this one. That was amazing. Absolutely amazing. I hope you enjoyed this at least half as much as I did. I'm gonna put the link again in the description below. If you wanna go and give this a whirl, I'm sure there's probably more things that I've missed now, more that you can do. I'll have a bit more of a play around with it, but um, man, I'm so glad I found this. Anyhow, if you wanna give this a whirl, go head over, show those guys some love, give it a try, put it on your wish list. but I think this was a great find. Thank you Steam Next Fest for giving us Tormentia. Anyhow, I guess that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining me. I hope you will have a lovely rest of your day and look after yourself. Until next time. Bye.